there, there's two two concerns that sort of fold into each other. Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis. Uh, my my concerns about them come from different reasons, but it's the same concern, and that's neither of them played a whole lot of snaps at the college level because they were a part of such a, a deep rotation at Georgia, you know, for different, again, Jalen Carter, part of a rotation. Um, Jordan Davis, yes, part of a rotation, but also struggles to play a certain number of snaps in a row because of his weight. Now, conditioning is going to be very key for him. It's also going to be key for Jalen Carter. And Nick Sirianni, I thought, was very honest and upfront about his need to everybody's need. You know, he, he was asked after the rookie camp about the conditioning of the rookies. And he said, no, none of them are in good football shape. He's like, that's what this camp is for. They've all been, you know, doing the wine and dine route at everybody's top 30 visits. They're on airplanes. They're not eating well. I mean, yeah, a lot of them were training for the 40 but in the combine. But once that's done, they just start living the hotel life and living out of suitcases and eating McDonald's and who knows what, right? So they're not all in shape. But we, but that applies to everybody. But we already know that Jalen Carter at his pro day wasn't in shape. Like most guys, at least, are practicing for their pro day and forty and are are well conditioned. So I would say, you know, week one, Adam, like to one, two, three, four, you're trying to get off to a good start. But can you get Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter on the field enough so that they can make their impact? 